Remember when I did a top 10 best cartoon intros? If not, then go turn off your ad block and watch it here. I could use the money. But real talk, I am just so happy that everyone enjoyed the list. Seriously, it seemed that all of my choices were perfect and I did not leave anything out. Nothing. Everyone was happy. So we checked out a bunch of awesome cartoon intros, but what about the bad ones? I mean the truly toxic stuff that made you cringe when you heard it on your television. The intros that gave you post-traumatic stress disorder as a child and still haunt you to this very day. Yeah, you know the ones. Just like my first video, I am going to be completely original and be the first one ever in human history to assemble this list. This is the top 10 worst cartoon intros. Oh, and real quick, I just wanted to mention that I added some new options to my Patreon. If you like my content and want to support it, click the link in the top right hand corner. Number 10, The Bots Master. All right, time to upset some people. I already know that there will be some options on this list where folks go, What the hell? This show was awesome! You don't know what you're talking about! Well guys, I have only one thing to say. Shut up. Listen, this list is subjective, so let's go ahead and make that clear. That being said, I will also give credit where credit is due. For example, Bots Master is competent, especially when you compare it to some of the other stuff on the list. But that doesn't take away from the fact that this intro is kind of stupid. Okay, so it's a corny rap song. I can forgive that. It was the 1990s. No one knew what they were doing. So the character roll call keeps going and I can appreciate the animation despite how repetitive the song is. They are trying, but the song gets really old really fast. And they keep using the same fish lens animation over and over and Excuse me, can we hear that again? One more time. Oh my god. It's Genji. Did Overwatch rip off Bots Master? He even has the sword and stuff. This is uncanny. Let's check out Wikipedia. Hmm. Ninjas? His name is Ninjas? <laughs> Number 9. Da Boom Crew. When a show uses the word da and they are not Russian, well, they instantly fail. And that is especially true for this show. This show bears a striking resemblance to the Proud family, which makes sense because it was made by the same guy. He was kind of able to put an urban spin on the Proud family, but for this show, it is painful. It feels so forced and makes me cringe hard. Pay close attention to the intro song. And all of our adventures are on these boom cards. But one day we were sucked up by a supernatural vortex and dropped into a world identical to our game, surrounded by monsters, aliens, and an evil sword. Now we gotta find all the boom cards to save the universe. Sounds kind of familiar. If you had one shot, one opportunity. We created our own video game where we play heroes battling outer space villains. And all of our adventures are on these boom cards. But one day we were sucked up by a supernatural vortex and dropped into a world identical to our game. Surrounded by monsters, aliens, and an evil sword. Now we gotta find all the boom cards to save the universe. Yeah, boy, boy, we about to drop this is in the music, the moment you own it. You better never let it go. You only get one shot. Number eight. Toxic Crusaders. Okay, so this show is stupid and it knows it. Why else would you make a cartoon show about the Toxic Avenger? Okay, you motherfucker. You know, for kids. I always try to be fair and I watched an episode of this show. It's actually pretty funny and it reminds me a lot of Freakazoid, just not as fourth wall breaking. It's over the top and I feel that Toxic Crusaders is making fun of all the other shows that were airing at the time. We 
understand your name is Melvin Junko. Not anymore. From now on, my name is Toxie, and I'm a crusader against pollution, crime, and other stuff. But we aren't talking about the show. We are talking about the intro, and it sucks. The song is repetitive, and the singer is trying to give some exposition, but it kind of leaves the audience in the dust. Oh, hold on, come again? It is based on this. So who the hell actually knows what is going on? Number seven, where's Wally? Okay, first off, where's Wally? I thought it was Waldo. It turns out that that's his name in America, but in Canada and the UK, his name is Wally. Next, there's a Where's Waldo TV show? I mean, yeah, I realize that they make TV shows out of everything, but Waldo is just a book where you find a guy. How can that be a premise for a sh whatever? This short-lived series had such a boring intro. Just some guy saying, where's Wally? Over and over. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? For the record, I do realize that repetitive lyrics do not make an intro automatically bad. I mean, the intro for Thundercats is pretty repetitive, but at least they change the tone of their voice. The animation isn't terrible, and to their credit, they did include things in it that pay homage to the books, like how characters are goofing off in the background with gags and stuff. But none of this matters though. The one thing, the only thing that matters is what they said at the end. Listen closely. Where's Wally? Did you hear that? Listen again. Where's Wally? I swear, when I first heard this, I thought he said, like, is it just me? Does anyone else hear this? I had to listen a few more times just to make sure that wasn't the case. I think he said, there he is, but I'm not actually sure. God, who's responsible for this mess? Michael Tavera, huh? Well, you suck. Number six. Veggie Tales. When a person thinks about Jesus, they think of talking, God-fearing vegetables who reenact biblical stories. Actually, I am 99% sure that they are fruit, so this is false advertising. I already know that this will be an unpopular opinion, and that a lot of people will hate me for putting this on the list. I mean, heck, my girlfriend falls into that category. Truth be told, I grew up with this show, and I still remember most most of the songs to this day. So the first version of this intro isn't too bad. It features clips from the show, which in my eyes is lazy, but not as lazy as pictures from the show. That's right. In the newest rendition of VeggieTales, the intro is just a bunch of Polaroid pictures floating to a table. Then there's a seizure, Larry passes out, and then generic child laughter. Number five, the the magical super trolls. Okay, so I tried. I really tried to find some sources about this show, but they are few and far between. I don't think it's actually a cartoon series and was just a standalone movie for television. Regardless, the intro is, oh my God, it is truly terrible. I never thought someone could make a jingle more annoying than it's a small world, but I've been proven wrong. After what? About 30 seconds of la 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 and ripping off the Smurfs, they finally start to sing legit sentences and it's worse. Magical super trolls, who are deep behind wonder workers, some call them skips, we say they're chips, colors in hindsight, gotta love these guys, magical super trolls. 
And what the hell is happening in this show? Uh, a robot with Super Saiyan hair? Why is this troll buff and a superhero? Why is there a disco troll prostitute? Weren't these guys just naked dolls with gems in their bellies? Where the hell did this plot come from? Why are they ripping off Zelda? Okay, to be fair, that last part was from another Trolls TV movie. I'm gonna have to double back on these two and make a full review. They are both so delightfully bad. Number four, Butt Ugly Martians. Real quick, why would you call a show Butt Ugly? I mean, yeah, it is ugly, so I give them credit for being honest, but I don't see the appeal. It starts off with the Martians walking on the screen trying to pump up the audience, I guess. B Bad animation, bad designs, bad transitions, bad singing, bad lyrics, bad, 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 you're so freaking bad! The show didn't even last a year. It started in January of 2001 and ended in March of 2001. Who made this pile of filth? Oh, Michael Tavera, the same guy from before. My dude, you have a bad track record. Number three, the Berenstein Bears, or is it Berenstein? Eh. Okay, so this one is a personal favorite, but for all the wrong reasons. I watched this show when I was a kid, and I thought it was meh, but the intro. <laughs> Guys, strap in and watch. This way to bear country, you'll know when you're there. As soon as you enter, you'll feel like a bear. A great grizzly bear. A Berenstain bear. We are the Berenstain Bears. Mama! Papa! Sister! Brother! We appreciate each other. We live in a split level tree. Mama, Papa, Sister, and me. Snuggest butts in a split level tree. Here are more Berenstain Bears. Big boy bear. Professor Out. Oh, uh who's -huh. tea, honey bucket? I'm the mayor. And lots, lots more. Bears galore. You may think that this starts our show. Well, it does. All right, so let's break this down. First, we have the signs in the forest. Now imagine that you are hiking around and you just see one of these random signs by itself. You'll know when you're there. Oh, okay. As soon as you enter? Excuse me? You'll feel like a bear. Oh, thank God there is a sign here telling me you'll feel like a bear. I was curious about these emotions. Oh, and here they come, weird ass looking bears with a public domain song, and they are quite excited about their tree home. Okay, so listen to this part closely. Here are more Berenstain Bears. Factual, factual. Big boy bear. Professor Out. Oh, uh who's -huh. tea, honey bucket? I'm the mayor. I am not sure what you heard, but this is what it sounded like to me. Factual, factual. Big boy bear. Professor Out. Oh, uh who's -huh. tea, honey bucket? I'm the mayor. Oh, uh -huh. Hey, honey, the Number two, Swamp Thing. So the intros on this list have elicit various reactions from me. Embarrassment, sorrow, confusion. But out of all of the shows, this one made my eyes roll so hard that I could see the back of my head. Listen. Uh... Yeah, let's take Wild Thing and make our own version of it. Why not? These lyrics are terrible, but not as terrible as the visuals and sound bites in the intro. Look at this spider thing. Its legs aren't even moving. It's gliding. Watch this. I did not even add that sound effect. It was already there. I still cannot get over the Wild Thing ripoff. Seriously, whose idea was that? N no, how, how could this be? How could someone be this bad and still find work? Planet Sheen, The Lamb Before Time 13, Tom and Jerry back to Oz, what? 
And number one, my choice for the worst cartoon intro is... The Wacky World of Tex Avery. Bad songs, bad visuals, lack of effort or direction. All of the choices on my list have been guilty of one or more of these crimes. But The Wacky World of Tex Avery, holy cow. They struck out in every category. The first thing I notice in this intro is trash tier animation and visuals. Like this looks like it was put together in clip art. The font, the face, the transitions, trash. Then the music begins. Yahoo! Welcome to the wacky wack. Oh, so the can-can with wacky whack whack repeated over and over again. Super creative, guys. Speaking of audio, this show put Swamp Thing to shame with its use of random, out-of-place sound effects. The worst thing of all, though, is this weird animation of these characters jumping. To the wacky whack whack, welcome to the whack whack, welcome to the wacky world of Texas, very welcome to the wacky whack whack, welcome to the wacky 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 world. Like, seriously, what the hell is this mess? And why was it allowed on television? It's obviously flawed and doesn't flow smoothly. Look at it. Random characters appear, then they jump and stuff appears beneath their feet. I have no idea what it is, but then the characters randomly reset and do it again? And this guy appears beneath their feet? How? He was dragged away twice. This is the laziest intro I have ever seen. Everything about it sucks, and it's a slap to the face of Tex Avery, a legend of animation who created Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny. And this is how you honor his memory. 